Award-winning journalist Phil Shanahan has worked on some remarkable stories during a career spanning 25 years. But he's best known for a story which took place many years before he was even born. While deputy editor of the Tamworth Herald in Staffordshire in 1998, he discovered that two brave men, able seaman Colin Grazier and First Lieutenant Tony Fasson, had drowned on October 30, 1942, capturing vital Enigma code books from a stricken German U-boat. A 16-year-old boy, Tommy Brown, who also played a crucial part in the mission, died in a house fire just two years later, a tragedy which also claimed the life of his four-year-old sister. The material seized by the men enabled Bletchley Park, Churchill's secret wartime establishment, to finally crack the Nazis' naval enigma code, an act which historians now acknowledge shortened World War II by up to two years. For decades, the incident remained one of Britain's greatest war secrets. One of the men, Colin Grazier, came from the town I worked in, and he played a really major part in bringing World War II to an end, and yet virtually nobody had heard of him. And I found the same was true of the other two men in their hometowns. I felt privileged that a story of such international significance had landed on my desk. I guess it's really what every journalist dreams of, and it's true to say that it became something of a personal crusade. I was determined to bring all three men to public attention, as they'd done so much to win our freedom, and yet they really were the ultimate unsung heroes. And ACT is exactly what Phil Shanahan did over the next 12 years. The campaign he led to bring the men to public attention won three of the biggest awards for campaigning regional journalism in the UK and resulted in him being granted the freedom of Bletchley Park. It also led to meetings with prominent figures such as the Duke of Kent and sparked tributes from the Prime Minister of the day, Tony Blair, Prince Andrew and international best-selling author Robert Harris. The story continued to snowball and Phil was invited to London to accept an award on behalf of the heroes from the Celebrity Guild of Great Britain. Actor Prunella Scales, famous for her role as Sybil in Faulty Towers, presented the award in front of a star-studded audience. Phil Shanahan went on to lock horns with Hollywood over the smash hit film U571, which he claimed stole the men's glory. In 2008, he had a book published by the History Press, which set the historical record straight. He was invited to present Prince Charles and Camilla with a copy of that book, The Real Enigma Heroes, and to show them around an exhibition in Hut 8 at Bletchley Park, which tells the story behind the book. Phil also had the honour of officially opening the newly restored Hut 8 to the public, the very hut where the Germans' naval enigma code was cracked. His work on the Enigma story has made headlines on both sides of the Atlantic and on TV, and he's also written on the subject in the Sunday Express and International Express. The public response to our campaign was absolutely phenomenal, and money poured in from all over the world to fund a magnificent monument in the men's honour. It was created by sculptor Walenti Pytel, who also produced the Queen's Jubilee Fountain sculpture at the Houses of Parliament. The unveiling of the sculpture was a really emotional day because we had around 14 men there from HMS Petard and these are the very men who took part in the action against the U559. And we also had close friends of the three heroes present and many of their relatives too. And several people just wept openly in St Edith's Square and it really brought home to me that 1942 was not all that long ago really in the scheme of things. The sculpture in Tamworth consists of three anchors, each representing one of the men. The anchors are bound together by a genuine ship's anchor chain, itself weighing more than two tonnes. The campaign led to other major tributes to Grazier Brown and Fasson, a young naval officer from Scotland. Roads have been named after all three heroes, as well as Bletchley, HMS Petard and its captain Mark Thornton. A £1 million hotel bears Colin's name, as does the HQ of a large high-tech company. And a beautiful stained glass window now commemorates Tommy Brown in his hometown of North Shields. Phil's book, The Real Enigma Heroes, was launched by Shadow Defence Minister Dr Julian Lewis 
at Bletchley Park and is packed with eyewitness accounts of the mission that turned the course of history. The book contains some exceptional revelations, such as how a simple bar of soap became a vital weapon against Hitler. I was even handed a personal diary written by Reg Krang, who was the ship's radar operator, and he'd watched the drama with DU-559 unfold. And while still on board, he'd written a, a really graphic account of the action in a diary, which he kept hidden in his cabin. It's funny to think that Reg didn't realise the significance of it all until he was a pensioner, and that was decades later. But then again, even Colin Grazier's parents went to their graves thinking that their son had died in an unsuccessful mission. In my book I describe all the men who served on HMS Petard as heroes, and they really are heroes, because it was the only Allied ship that sunk submarines belonging to all three enemy states, Germany, Italy and Japan. However, while they are heroes, they're certainly not saints, and I know that from personal experience, because I've been out drinking with many of them, and they've told me some of the things that they got up to on board, and let's just say there were some right characters on that ship. I do touch on the lighter side in my book and also on, in my talks on the subject too. In fact, I've been told by several people that the stories made them laugh as, as well as cry. Phil Shanahan is prepared to travel to talk to your group about this compelling story. I think it's possible that I'll be involved in this story for life. And I think it's also vital that more and more people become aware of just who these men were and the vital part they played in shortening World War II. I mean, we really do owe them an enormous debt.